This is going to be a short video on how to document the regional materials you are claiming on your regional materials submittal template for your LEED online scorecard. The bottom line of this credit is that a certain percentage of the materials you are using in your project have to be manufactured and harvested within 500 miles of your project site. Here's an example of a piece of documentation for one of our material suppliers stating where the material he provided for this project was manufactured and where the raw material for the product was harvested. In this example, Acme Brick provided their Fort Smith 40 Old World Brick and it was manufactured and harvested in Fort Smith, Arkansas. It's important that the material supplier put this on his company letterhead and that they provide their contact information. Our project site is in Fort Worth, Texas, so now I can go to Yahoo Maps or MapQuest, but Google Maps is the best. I just go to Google Maps, clicked on Get Directions, typed in Fort Worth, Texas as my point A, Fort Smith, Arkansas as my point B, and as you can see here, it's 304 miles apart. Great. That means I can claim this material as being regional and can put it on my regional materials submittal template. Now I go to my regional material submittal template that I access from my lead online scorecard. And as you can see here, I put the product name in as Acme Brick Fort Smith Blend 40 Old World. The manufacturer is Acme. The harvest distance is 304 miles and the manufacturer's distance is 304 miles. The harvest slash manufacturer location information source will be my submittal, which consists of the documentation I got from Acme Brick. As you can see here, I still need to fill out the total product cost. For this, I got documentation from my masonry subcontractor, and I asked him how much the brick material cost. He told me that the brick material cost $12,350. Now I go back to my template, type in $12,350, and my submittal template is complete for that one line of material. I repeat these steps for every piece of material that went into my project and all the material that's within 500 miles of my project site I get to claim as regional and put it on the submittal template. Here's an example of a filled out submittal template that has all the material that was within 500 miles of my project site. You could stop here upload all your supporting documentation from your material suppliers and subcontractors along with this filled out template but there's a further step you can take to facilitate the review process by the person at the USGBC that's reviewing your all your documentation. This template and all its supporting documentation has to be reviewed by the USGBC before this building can become LEED certified. Reviewing all this documentation is a long and tedious process so I want to do what I can to make it as easy as possible for the reviewer to get through all the documentation so that she doesn't have any questions, the review goes quickly, and hopefully our building can get LEED certified a little sooner. If you remember our documentation from Acme Brick, they told us where the brick was manufactured, but they didn't tell us how far away this manufacturing point was from our project site. I had to look that up on Google Maps. Since no documentation exists verifying the distance from Fort Worth, Texas to Fort Smith, Arkansas, the USGBC reviewer is going to have to spend some time verifying all this information. I don't want her to waste her time with all this verification, so I'm going to provide her a 500 mile radius map centered on my project site and plot on this map all the locations where regional material came from. There are several ways I can do this, but I'll cover just one. I'll just go to Google and type in radius map for Google Maps. Let's see what comes up. Click on the first hit and I've got a free map tool. Come down here. As you can see this is a just a Google map and someone's made a, a program that'll that'll draw a, a radius circle around any point. So I'll come down here, place radius by location. Location name is Fort Worth, Texas, and radius distance I want five hundred miles. Come down here hit draw radius, come back up to my map, and I've got a pretty good product. It's centered on Fort Worth, Texas, my project site, and it's 500 miles in radius, as you can see here. Now all I've got to do is uh, insert this picture into PowerPoint and plot all of my uh, regional material locations on this map 
to show that they did in fact come from within 500 miles from my project site. To do this, I'll just hit print screen, go into PowerPoint, have a blank slide open, hit paste, and I've got that screenshot from the previous screen. I want to format this a little bit, so I'm going to crop it down. Resize it a little bit bigger. Now I've got a pretty nice product where I can uh, place a little icon showing where all the regional material locations were on this map. To do this, I'm going to go down to Auto Shapes, go to Callouts, and place a little callout icon on my map. Label it number one. I'm labeling this number one to correspond to the line on my uh, regional material submittal template. As you can see, Acme Brick is the first line on here, so that corresponds to the number one on this icon. Now, I want to link this icon to the location that Acme Brick was manufactured and harvested. If you remember, it was Fort Smith, Arkansas, which is right here on a map. So I'm going to have the icon point to Fort Smith, Arkansas, and as you can see, it's clear that. This icon number one corresponds to this first line and it points out the location so that when my USGBC reviewer is looking at this, she can easily see where all the regional materials came from. That's not going to be intuitive to her, so I'm going to put a little title on it that uh, explains things a little bit better. So I've described this as a 500 mile radius map centered on Fort Worth, Texas, and I put a little note here. The numbers on this regional map correspond to the line numbers on the regional material submittal template. Once you uh, start populating this map with all those uh, regional material locations, you get a product that looks something like this. Next I would just save this as a PDF or print it and scan it as a PDF and upload it along with my regional material submittal template and all the supporting documentation I got from my material suppliers and subcontractors. Hopefully you found this video useful. For more free resources on LEED construction, visit us at www.leadforcontractors.com.